All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this in the future for a new deck. This is going to be Esper taking turns. So hopefully you like taking some extra turns because that's what we're going to be uh, trying to do. We have not only the four Nexus of Fate, which has been a controversial card, of course, but that's not good enough. It's not taking enough turns. We got four Karn's Temporal Sunderings as well because uh, we are we won every single turn. So we got eight extra turn effects. Of course, for Karn's Temporal Sundering, you need a legendary creature or planeswalker on the battlefield in, able, in order sorry, in order to cast this. So we have uh, five different planeswalkers. We got Dovin, Kaya, Karn, Teferi, and Other Dovin. Um, Other Dovin is actually not that bad of a card. You know, like, this is the planeswalker deck Dovin. But we got one of these in here. Uh, you know, the tick up ability is draw a card, gain two life. That's actually kind of good, you know? Like, this is draw a card, untap two lands. Obviously, Teferi's better, but that's not, you know, that's not, like, a huge step down, you know? It's not a huge step. And then you, you can minus one and, like, remove something for a turn. And I don't know. Yeah, so we're going to play some Dovin. I, I originally had Tezzeret uh, there, but honestly, I was like, wait, I think I actually like Dovin more than Tezzeret. So we got we got a... Another uh, another Dovin uh, to go along with the Grand Arbiter. We got some Kayas over here, too. Um, I feel like this card can actually be kind of decent with how the format is. There's a lot of uh, one CMC things between, like, Mono Red, Mono Blue, Mono White, uh, Land War Elves. Decent amount. Um, even Drakes are playing uh, Terramanders. Get rid of that Terramander. And then, yeah, the tick up between, like, all these fine finalities and stuff and um, maybe gain some life against, like, some aggro decks. I don't know. It seems, like, okay. So we're going to play some Kaya's. Um, basically, I'm trying to play, like, some deck that... the Like, I feel like this deck may have the tools to beat Soul Tide, but we'll see. Um, so uh, this, this Planeswalker is just from, like, the Planeswalker decks. Uh, it's not, like, part of, like, the actual set. Um, Karn, uh, yeah, you should not be worried about four Karn and four Teferi. Karn and Teferi are, like, our best cards. We we certainly need four of each of those, so shouldn't be worried too much about that. Uh, Esper taking turns. All right, so we're going to, we're going to, hey, what's up, Gatsby? Um... Uh, we're going to be taking lots and lots of turns. No, I see, I started, Matthew, I started with Tezzeret, and honestly, I think Dovin is is going to be better for us. The, we're not really doing the whole, con there's not much con construct stuff. Like, I'm not, the only time I'm, like, doing construct things is if I am, uh, is if I'm, like, trying to play defense, basically. Um, like if I if I just need like a chump blocker and Dovin actually does like a good job of like taking out some big uh, attacker you know like maybe they have like a a crisis that's gonna trample over and stuff like that all right so anyway so our first hand is a little sketchy with no blue mana but I like turn four Karn on the play gonna go ahead and keep The still no blue mana thing is kind of annoying. We have 16 blue sources in the deck. Um, 16 blue, 17 black, and 17 white is what I have. Have an extra black and a white because of Kaya's Wrath. Hmm. Not exactly sure what the opponent's doing. Are they just chilling on some counter spells? That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not just playing Nexus though. We're playing Nexus and Karn's Temporal Sundering, so we're going all out in the extra turn stuff so 
This is just mono blue aggro with benthic biomancer. Interesting. Took some draw steps, did not get any blue mana, so that keep ended up not working out at all. So against mono blue, I think we want some moment, a cry, some duress and negate. Um, gonna take out the temporal sundering, the dovin. We just we just have to lower our curve. Quite a bit here. Hmm. Teferi time better takes extra turns. That's Dove. Yeah, Dovin's minus nine is basically an extra turn because you make your opponent skip their untap step and tap all their permanents. Like that's that's just an extra turn. Um, I kind of like all these cards. I kind of like all these. Am I supposed to go down on Nexus of Fates? I mean, I could take two cards out. And... Maybe a Thought Erasure. And a Dovin. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to just take the four next to Fates out. Um, yeah, Cer certainly, certainly possible I should be doing that. All right, this one's a little better. We actually have some things to play. We got, we got the Kaya. The Kaya Precon. Kaya Tribal. Just did two 5 0 runs with Singleton with Demir. Good job. Very nice. Alright, dive down and retort. To go along with the Terramander. Let's take the retort. Right? Hmm. If I take the dive down. Eh, I'll take the dive down. This should let the cry kill both things. How much loyalty do you have? Not very much. Their plan is just trickster. All right, so they're going to flash in this trickster. I'm going to go ahead and cast down the trickster. And not let them have the cheap wizard's retort. Storm Tamer, of course, means cheap wizard's retort, though. The problem with Kaya minus one, in my opinion, is... Go ahead and play it now. The problem with Kaya minus one there was they had the 2-2 creature um, that would have been, been able to just kill Kaya. So, like, we would have just played Kaya, killed the Herald, and then the 2-2 kills Kaya, and then they have the 2-2 on the battlefield with the Retort in hand. Um... Alright, well we 
Kaya got countered, and she's not too happy about it. Our opponent will be experiencing the wrath that Kaya has for getting countered. Sounds good. So we just want to draw one of our planeswalkers. You know, Carnage Fairy. Don't really want to counter though. I don't know how we really protect it from a counter spell. So they can adapt for five mana. I was thinking, so I didn't, I started with the cast down because I was thinking my opponent may have like a dive down to protect it, something like that. And I would rather, I wanted the ca cast down to get countered and not the moment because the two life. King Toll says, hey, I want to thank you. I used the tweak version of the Celestia Singleton deck to win my special Galta earlier today. Good job. All right, we get to resolve to fairy. That's all I wanted to do. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hey, Kluking. Reverse. Yeah, Dovin's dismissal is not. It's not bad, but I don't. I don't think we have room for it. But no, it's it's not that bad of a card. Did they get a counter spell? <laughs> yeah, we're playing Nexus now. But we're doing it with all the extra turn stuff. Alright, we need more planeswalkers. No time for a break. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Alright, I can't. Um, can't play Karn and that, so we'll just play the Nexus. Looks like our opponent may not be happy that we played just two Nexuses. It's not like we we don't really have anything else going on. I mean, we got the fairy, obviously.
You think they have a trickster? Yeah, that'd be why they get the priority, right? Like this. It's gotta be a trickster. Keep up the pace! I thought you may regret that choice. Oh, can't play that. Gotta play this to play a wrath. Oh, could be an opt. Good call, good call. Opt is another card it could have been. Yep. We need to move quickly. The choices we make reveal who we are. Our... They just gave us the Nexus. Let's have a counter spell, I guess. Sure. Just cycle that back in. <laughs> you can't select the alternate art for the lands and the deck builder anymore. It's kind of annoying. And we're Let's just skip to the good part. Going through a bunch of cards a turn. Opponent. Come on. Are you certain of your decision? Thank you. Put that back in the deck before drawing. Hold that thought. Same thing here. Honestly, I probably should just cast that during upkeep. We need to move quickly. A curious choice. So I mean, we're looking at like four cards a turn. The opponent, you, you can probably pick it up right about now. We're at Teferi Emblem. I don't do this lightly. Decisive action is needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I'm late. Put that back. No time for a break. And to Fairy Emblem starts doing its thing. Doesn't look like we're taking the next turn. So opponent gets a turn here. Because we sideboarded out four of our extra turn spells. I, I don't know why our opponent's still playing. 
maybe they're thinking like oh, I want to see whatever their win con is, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make constructs, you know. So basically, what happens is we just keep on making our library as small as possible. Um, and then and then start making constructs. Nothing is ever truly lost. Alright, let's put these nexuses back in the deck. So we have a chance to draw them. Let's skip to the good part. And now we're taking the next couple turns. Okay, there we go. So that's what happens when. When we move ahead, or you know, like when our deck's doing its thing, so that's why I think we—that's why I'm saying like that. I don't think we actually board out our nexuses because nexus is kind of our win con. Let me take out a Dovin. Um, let's bring in these two Liras. Take out a Dovin and. Um, Hmm. Maybe another Thought Erasure. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be taking out the Thought Erasures. All right, I'm gonna. Tr I'll trim one Nexus. There we go. Yeah, deck list you can find right there. I like having turn two as Kanta. Yeah, definitely a slow hand on the draw. Um, them having one drop cures obsession uh, looks like we can, you know, we can certainly lose this one. One drop, one drop obsession. Um, It's going to be tough for our deck to beat. Yeah, no problem, Colts. So I don't mind that Search Risk Kanta getting countered with us having another one. We want them drawing creatures, not counter spells. Hoping they're drawing lands and creatures. That's what we're hoping. That's a lot of those. The draw three. Is it possible that none of those six cards are a counter spell? Probably not. That's a really good hand. Ooh, we got 20 gems for free. Nice. Yeah, really good hand there. 
Um, yeah, my deck, of course, is filled with really expensive... Like, my curve is really high by playing the eight extra turn spells, so... Um, you know, just one drops that, you know, draw you two, three cards every turn and have lots of counter spells. Not going to beat that. It's not going to beat that. <laughs> All right, this looks like a keep to me. The first game was my fault, I guess, for you know keeping the two colors of mana and not having th and not having the third, and yeah, you know, we didn't draw the third color. Playing against some Naya. We're gonna be doing some Naya later on, some Naya Legends. Nothing the first three turns. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Yeah. Two island, a one drop, an obsession, and a spell pierce is difficult to beat. And then you add in two more spell pierces and two more uh two more obsessions. Oh, that got my blood pumping. So what's our opponent doing with this Wilderness Reclamation over here? That's pretty cool. They can activate the Hellkite now. Just a gadget, but ingenuity. Yeah, that's Jund. Black, red, and green. It's called Jund. This is gonna be difficult to beat. These results are an anomaly not to be repeated. Ah, that can beat it. Um Yep, just hope they don't have another haste creature. This isn't a but not so fast. Hope hoping no haste creature. All right, that's fine. Uh, March of the Multitudes, maybe? With all this green and white. Electro Dominance, of course, is another option, but I'm kind of expecting March of the Multitudes here. Yeah. All right, we're gonna need to find a sweeper. You know what? I'm not done yet. Not a sweeper. I cannot sundering a plus any planeswalker. So let's just do sundering. Target me. I guess I'll just bounce a one one. Maybe bounce one of these things. 
I mean, if I... If I bounce a 1-1... One, one, and then I can, like, make... Blocker, block... Like, take out one, blocker... They have, like, still nine... Nah, it's not really worth it. Alright, so, bounce that thing. Hold that thought. Take an extra turn, bounce this thing. We'd rather draw the Nexuses early. Keep up the pace. Hmm. Because, you know, like, the Nexus will shuffle back. I don't I'm impressed anyone would be so foolish as to face me. For you. All right, so we have 39 cards left. Still have a whole lot of cards left. We'll see what the opponent wants to do here with their attacking. All right. So they are killing Dovin and Teferi, but not Karn. Yeah, that's like what we have here, Esper Super Friends. Yeah, that's our deck. All right, so they're killing Dovin and Teferi. You just have come no surprises even two. me. I mean the I blocked the one the thing that was attacking me. I don't think there's much a reason not to block that thing. Hey Aaron. Thanks so much for that resub there for the third month in a row. First sub of the day, and I guess we've gone down a sub again, so we're at 103. Um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'll make you good. That later. Good, that's what we want to see there. It's still going to be really tough with like this, the hell kite. I know my responsibility. All right, Wrath here. Let's skip to the good part. Dang, just all lands. Dispelling phantasms makes me feel good. You can rest in peace, just do it somewhere else. Alright, we, we've gone through tons of cards. We've got to find another Wrath here eventually, or some Nexuses. We're going through lots of cards. You'd think we'd find some spells. I wanted the Karn tick up to, to find either two good cards or two bad cards. So, like, I liked how it was just two lands there. Okay, so they're not playing the Hellkite with haste. Um, 
Looks like they don't care about settle too much. Nexus would be watch your back a from here on good card to draw with uh, with having the Karn in play. Nexa, Nexus or Akaya's Wrath? This is just really unfortunate. We're just trying. Ugh. A curious choice. And, uh, quite unfortunate. Uh, you are only hurting yourself. Drawing here. All right, so we've gone through uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we've gone through sixteen lands so far. So there are there are ten lands left in the deck. Out of you know, so we've gone through like sixteen out of a little less than half the cards. Good news is we have so many lands in play that if we draw another Karn, another Karn can instantly get the Nexus of Eight back. I will return. I feel like maybe I should have just used the bounce two of the tokens with the temporal sunderings instead of the wilderness reclamations I don't know and there we go another Karn our actions Let's go get this nexus back Return. Doesn't help us out like a, a ton, you know. We have like this car and it's very vulnerable, but helps us out a little bit. Okay, okay. Um, let's see what we get here. You may regret that choice. There we go. We're kind of doing it. We found all of our extra turn stuff. We're kind of doing it. Right on schedule. You know what? We stopped I'm finding a, a ton of lands. All right, I will take an extra turn, and I guess I just bounce one of these one ones. Mm. Yeah, I'll just bounce a one one. Down to 28 cards now. Let's get the get the Nexus first. What was lost is now returned. So we can put that back into the deck. To try a draw again with the Teferi. And then we'll Thought Erasure, so we surveil. Settle and Star of Extinction. Get rid of that Star of Extinction. And that's not a Nexus, but that's a even a better card. Hold that thought. I don't. As Kant is perfect. I, I I'm not sure if our opponent will get another turn. So we have we have five extra turn cards left because three of the temporal sunderings are gone. We're down to 27. So five out of 27. Five out of 26. And of course, we get to see a whole lot of cards. 
There's one of those. Cast that, put that back. Good choice. No time for a break. So I, I don't think our opponent's get another turn. So we just got to be able to win from here. Um, I'm going to just take this thing. I don't want to take that dove in. We got one of these over here too. Our opponent is at 48 and us having a settle. Like This is going to take a while to win. This is going to take a little bit. Keep up the pace. <laughs> That's the Planeswalker deck dove in. Okay, Emblem to Fairy. You are removed from time itself. Um Okay, I already I already do have another turn after this. Taking out this uh, treasure cove to we start need to with. Move quickly. Force them to draw a card here, and then we'll thought erasure. Okay, so we're gonna need maybe another cry of carnarium. Not sure if Kaya's going to do a whole lot against our opponent. <laughs> yeah, we we're going to we we're going to be able to thought erasure and take the settle before it did anything anyway. Ugh. So we take Kaya out, bring in a cry and like what are they going to they're going to have like enchantments, I guess. Put in a blast and a cry. Blast should be pretty good. Um, this is probably just a mulligan. Keep this. We can try to draw two more lands and get to Karn. The Thought Erasure helps. You know, so having... I like... So, like, the first hand, um, we had two lands Karn also. But two lands Karn with Thought Erasure and a Scry. I think it makes it a little easier. So, Gift, Wilderness, and then Hellkite, Hellkite. Let's take these Hellkites. That's not a land, so I'm putting it over there. There we go, that's a land. That's a good draw. Not a land. So we're out of Thought Erasures. That's unfortunate. Got the whole play set over there.
Perfect. I am Khan. Where's our lands at? Last time we had all lands. Now we've, we've had two good turns here, drawing. We know we just drew drew third land, four land our last two turns, so certainly not complaining. Um, I ex I'm expecting to get to a fifth land here between. Um, How convenient! An excellent choice. Thank you for giving me the land opponent. I can hurry. The choices we make reveal who we are. All right, and time to start. Going through the deck. Now, do I want to... We need to move quickly. Want to play Dovin? Yeah, let's get Dovin on the battlefield. Basically never get to play Dovin. It's like my first time to have Dovin. Yeah, does Dovin not have any voice lines? This Dovin's actually not not a bad card. All right, shuffle this Nexus back in. All right, then draw a card, draw a card, and we go from there. It is a six mana worse Teferi, which shows you how good Teferi is. That a six mana one that's worse is honestly I don't I don't think that bad. Um you know you don't get to you don't get to untap your lands when you draw, but you gain two life when you draw. So like that's similar. Just drawing a card every turn. It's pretty nice. And then the, the ultimate is really just take another turn. Dovin's ultimate. Um, that's all it is. Uh, you know, it's tap everything your opponent controls. And... CMC one or less. Dang. Oh, it's getting a little too aggressive over here. I advise that you yield. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Please don't play a Dom Replaneswalker. Oh gosh. We need to um, need to draw Kai's Wrath. Just gave me some life. The crueler the good riddance. So I'll just gave me two life for exiling that thing, and then Kai has that four loyalty, so I could certainly see my opponent attacking uh Kaya with both of these. Just green red haste. Green red creature beat down haste. It's pretty good against me. Cast down is a really good draw here. 
good choice. Really good draw. <clears throat> Where we can cast down like the frenzied Erynx or whatever, and then Karn only takes five. But we'll see. See if they have even another haste creature or not. But uh, we should be should be working our way towards. Um, A Kaya's Wrath somewhere. Yeah, Kaya was a nice distractor. Gained like five life instead of us taking the five, plus it gained the other two. It was basically gained seven life. Like we would be taking lethal here if it wasn't for Kaya. Well, they are not. Hmm, they're not killing Karn. I'm still gonna just kill this thing though. Please stop. Wait, cancel. Go Nexus first. Shuffle that back in. Hey, what's up, Narinen? And then take up. The choices we make reveal who we are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the audio is out of sync or not. I hope it's not. You may regret that choice. It's always slightly out of sync. Hmm. So I'm not bouncing anything. Um, can't cast this. Because I'm going to be Kai's wrathing away those creatures. I don't want them to go back to their hand. Especially how they have haste as well. No, we have we have a lot of good sideboard stuff against control. Um, I'm actually 2-0 against control. Like, I just, just made this deck earlier today. I played two matches. They were both against control. And ended up winning them both. Uh, 3, 6, 7, 8... How convenient. An excellent choice. Um. Okay, let's see. The cam is slightly late. Okay, how is this? Is this... Did that make any difference? Is that any better? They do not have any cards in hand. Uh, graveyard. And let's go get Nexus. Decisive action is needed. Um, one, two, three. All right, so how are we doing on mana? So if we activate as Kanta, we still have seven mana. So I can activate as Kanta and potentially have, yeah, grab a Nexus. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I should cast the Nexus first, though. Oh, uh, is the delay worse now? Did I, like, yeah, did I go the wrong way on the delay? Oh, auto tap. Don't tap my Nexus. Or my. Don't take, tap the Escanta. Well, we tapped the Escanta, so I guess we're dovening now. There's no accounting for by a good assault. Maybe yours will hold. Um. 
Okay, l let me try this. Sorry, opponent, you're really not getting another turn from here. Yeah, the, the opponent can't get a, another turn. It's just not possible. I stand on the shoulders of giants. Because I have I have two I have two uh, temporal sunderings that are tucked behind that Karn can grab also. <laughs> if I don't find Nexus. They just they just can't take another turn from here. In simplicity. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Dove in. And that's what our deck does. Take all of the turns. Are you certain of your decision? I'm inspired by a good I should cast song. that thing first. And then draw. And then, uh, what do we have over here? Anything good? No? Good choice. Yeah, one month opters don't kill too fast. That is true. Yeah, I'm playing fast. All right, let's start making some Karn tokens. Karn struck time. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. Oh, that got my blood pumping. Doing this quickly. And we'll attack. Oh, I could have made another token with a Karn. So this is still going to be a little tough, I think. I don't know. They have all those haste creatures. Haste creatures are kind of tough. Let's, you know, bring in Lyra's and another Blast, a Moment of Cravings. Um, their creatures are kind of big, though. I'm not sure if... I don't think I want to cry the Carnarium. I think I'm willing to try Moment of Craving. Um, again, Kaya not going to be too good here. And... Oh, maybe I don't want Moment of Craving. This Dovin's just going to make some chump blockers. <laughs> Kaya did gain me some life. Um, I'm hoping Lyra does a little better. But that's true. Kaya did give me some life. We'll take Dovin out. This is 62. Kind of like all these cards. I guess we're going to just not play Moment of Craving. I think it's either Moment or Dovin. Maybe I just maybe I can't actually untap with Blast. All right, maybe I don't play Blast. Get this Moment in. Blast is really good though against like um Kind of expecting them to have uh, the haste enchantments, um, like the the three mana haste enchantment. Um, 
So, yeah, good job, you, Rob. Went 5 1 singleton four times in a row with this Lesnar deck. Good job. Rhythm of the Wild. Thank you. That's the card that I was thinking of. Oh, done. And Blast gets to exile the Rhythm of the Wild. Yeah, you can only get six mana Dovin with the Planeswalker deck. Yeah. So, you know, I had to use a Mythic Wild card for that. But, you know, got the, I got the free Mythic Wild cards for having the, um, the Nexuses. So, can you brew and play a Vanifar uh, deck for me at some point? Okay. Uh, what? Any? All right, Nari Nin. So, Vanifar deck. What? Any colors? Um, yeah, any specific colors you want with your Vanifar deck? The opponent said I go first? That was kind of them. That's the only requirement. Just an, a Vanifar deck. Okay. So we'll play a Vanifar deck tomorrow. So... I like the basics the opponent's using. The new new basics. What are you doing? Clan Guild Mage? Make some lands into 4-4s? Four Do cool, no problem. Alright, we'll make a Vanifar deck for tomorrow. Only 8 more YouTube subs? We are almost there. to 1500 and then and then on monday on uh the monday is the 18th that's my birthday and i will be um doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate getting the 1500 youtube subs there so I have to. I'm just using a wrath on just only that Sunder Shaman because whenever it would deal combat damage to me, it would destroy the Search Res Kanta, and I certainly do not want that to happen. Um. Uh, yeah. So if I play Teferi, I have to tuck the Arnix. So then any other haste creature will kill the Teferi. Yeah, it's just it's just the thing to do. We're at twelve and everything. Because otherwise, the if I You'll tick up the Aranix can just one land drop means the Aranix can pump enough to kill the Teferi. Thanks, John. Yeah, and so if you ever miss any of the the games, that's where you can. Um, Find all the games there. Ooh. We get to untap with Teferi. We're so lucky. Alright, let's pay two life, shock that in so I can shuffle this Nexus back first. Let's skip to the good part. So we're going to, up, again, upkeep. So I want to upkeep the Nexus so that we can draw it. Keep up the pace! Um... Kind of risky getting rid of basically all of our Teferis. Found another Nexus. Hold that thought. I'll take Lyra. Hurry. Hurry. 
Because you want to give yourself, when you're playing a deck like this, you want to give yourself like the, the best chance of drawing Nexus possible. So you want to play it early and then draw. Um, and like I, you saw, I like play it during upkeep before you draw. You just want to give yourself as many opportunities to draw a Nexus. Probably need to just let this resolve and let them draw the three. Myself being at six. I know I have like the moment of craving that I can like gain two life. There. You know what? I'm not done yet. And once we flip the Ascanta, that's probably going to be about it for the opponent. Uh, what's the upside of this over normal Esper Control? Uh, this deck can go just way over the top of the other mid-range and control decks. Like, I, I honestly think this deck may be better against... Um, against Soul Tide the normal Esper Control, because instead of playing a lot of Mortifies and one-for-one -one cards and stuff, you just go way over the top, and, you know, you just start, you know, taking all of the turns. Of course, with having Lyra on the battlefield no with these break. extra turn stuff, um, we'll end the game a little quicker. Gonna go ahead and just cast the moment of craving here after damage. Um, so I have seven cards in the graveyard to be able to flip as Kanta. Looks like it didn't matter too much there. We need to move quickly. I honestly don't know what this thing does. That's probably fine. I'll make use of that later. Yeah, instead of trading with your opponent one for one, you just don't trade at all. Basically. Don't you don't on your impending failure. The the other the other Domri has a garbage ultimate. The I think that's what you're saying. I actually think that other Domri has a really good ultimate. I mean it's just it's just take another turn. Like so for this deck that's a pretty good ultimate, but um, it's not really good, okay? I mean, it's... When you're talking about actual Planeswalker ultimates, it's it's far down on the list. But it's not bad. It's just take an extra turn, because it taps all of their permanent. So, like, their lands get tapped, and they skip their untap step. So, like, they're not casting anything. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're not casting anything. Hey, Code Junk, doing good. Ah, this Domri, not Dovin. Sorry, Domri. But three well encounters in each creature as you control this creature's game trample until in turn. Ah, yeah. That is not a very good ultimate. Sorry. I don't know. Kill one. Block the other. All right, picking up a second win there with Esper taking turns. It's weird that they have it like this, like where it has like this red thing because we're playing a band card 
in Nexus of Fate, but it's not banned in this format, so it's kind of weird that they have it, the deck like that. <laughs> it's letting you know the deck is equal. That could be it. That could be it. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? We are playing um, Esper taking turns, where we are trying to take all the turns in the game. All right, good. Not mono blue aggro. Mono blue is not a deck I want to face. So I'm glad this is not mono blue. Insight and Bedevil. Well, Bedevil's probably pretty good against me, so I'm going to take that card. Um, I am going to need a fifth land, but we'll probably draw another land. But we get, we get all the, all the turns. Because, so we're not only playing Nexus of Fates, we're playing, um... Play Kaya. We're playing, uh... The Karn's Temporal Sundering like also. Fight. Notice I didn't say fair. We're going to make this as can to like never be able to flip. So we're going to exile their cards from their graveyard. So never flipping this as can to. Is that what Kaya says is bye? <laughs> bye. Banefire? What is that thing? Our opponent's a total Deva. Playing some Banefires. Yeah, this is Esper Super Friends. Is that a better name? Esper Super Friends than Esper Taking Turns? Well, I'm glad my opponent cast that Insight main phase. That was nice of them. I get to just exile that now. Kind of nice of them. Um, and let's see what these cards they just drew. Let's see what they got over here. Eldest Reborn? Hmm. I don't want them having this Eldest Reborn. I'll take that thing. And yes, please. I'd like to keep that. Deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile, and you gain that much life. Let's hold that thought. Let's hold that thought. <laughs> Bye. Don't think. Whatever you're thinking about, hold it right there. They're a Grixis deck. Ah, uh, Bolas. Um. Let's skip to the good part. All right, Temporal Sundering. I'll take another turn, and I guess I bounce the Bolas. Even though it'll make me discard again. What's something vanished? Funny, that's what I do. Honey, that's what I do. Keep up the pace. Want something banished? Funny. Maybe I should start. I actually, I should just start exiling my own stuff because of. Um, <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Start exiling my own stuff because of uh, Eldest Reborn. No time for a break. Double Nickel Bolas. Sure, you can have Nickel Bolas. No problem. I a curious choice. Was that dear to you? Now it's dearly departed. How many cards do they have in exile? Seven. So Kaya's ultimate deals seven damage right now. In songs. And again, there we go. All right, let's cast this. I guess I can cast Dovin. I guess I can cast Dovin and that. But I just have to wait till end step. It's hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. Well chosen. Now, so, yeah, I'm not going to ultimate Teferi right now at, at 8. I, I want to... I don't have, like, another Teferi in hand. Hurry! I think it's good to ultimate Teferi... at 8 if I'm you have another one in hand. banishing things. All right, I don't think our opponents get another turn now. We'll see. 34. Our quartet of planeswalkers. Get it done. All right, so now this is going to be the tough game to win. They're going to have like a bunch of duresses and negates and the and uh Thief of Sanities and things like that. So let's have a bunch of duresses and negates and Thief of Sanities and stuff like that. So if we bring in all those, we can cut Kaya's Wrath, cast down one Temporal Sundering and one Kaya. Kaya was kind of cool, though. Kaya was kind of cool. That last game. If Kaya's ult let you cast two of the cards you exiled during the game, it could be super strong. Yeah. I could see that. I basically have no defense. I'm not not putting in any defense against Thief of Sanity, I don't think. I'll have my own Thief of Sanities as defense against Thief of Sanities, I suppose. All right, our hand's good against Thought Erasure. I like it. We'll just hit our land drops. So I will... Dress away something. I guess Kanta. Unmoored Ego. That's probably a problem. Kept a two-lander with no black mana. Got a good planeswalker curve here. I faced you're not dead. welcome here. I'm more egos, the card this that's getting exiled. Play. Take that opponent. How do you like your card being exiled? Lame. Your bags. Of course, we'd rather have Karn get countered than Teferi, so just throwing it out there. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll just kind of protect Teferi with double thought erasure. All right, no counter spell. 
available. Take Eldest Reborn. I could take Insight Insight. No. Let's take Bolus Bolus. Hmm. Eldest makes me sack Kaya. And then it kind of gets annoying after that. Search for a scant is a good card. Alright, I'm gonna take Bolus Bolus. Because if they if they draw the black mana this next turn, they can play Bolus, where Eldest takes them another turn. Maybe I should have just taken the two insights and exiled both of them. I'm known. You know what? I'm not done yet. That's a good draw. Good riddance to bad rubbish. That's a good draw. So even if they have Eldest Reborn here, we get to counter it. End step. Um, go ahead and play a Nexus. And I guess we just draw again. We need to move quickly. I'm just gonna minus five the this Sometimes thing. Things come back to haunt you. In case. In, ca in case they play Eldest Reborn here. And of course I don't I don't really want to eat this stuff from my graveyard because of Ascanta. Unfortunately we're only at five, not six. Like where I don't get to flip Ascanta this next turn. So we're hoping we draw one of our eight extra turn things. I guess, I think I took out one Temporal Sundering, so I think I only have seven. Keep up the pace! Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double Elish Reborn, Brass is Contempt. What are you at, Teferi? Eight right now? Could take Disdainful Stroke. That's a good card. Um, Exile out these. Funny, that's what I do. I'm not going to be ultimating Teferi yet. Um, I want to... Oh, we don't get to draw that negate. Okay, well now I can ultimate Teferi. Um, I want to make sure we have another Teferi. Yeah, I mean, now, now we get to ultimate Teferi. With each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. You know what? I'm not done yet. Get rid of the black source. You're not welcome here anymore. I 
There we go. Oh, uh, should I get rid of Field of Ruin? Yeah, I guess I should have got rid of Field of Ruin, because I don't care if they play an Eldest Reborn there. I, the thing about getting rid of the one black sources means they couldn't contempt. So yeah, maybe I should have shouldn't even gone for the the ultimate. I guess what I should have done before I ultimated or done anything else, I should have just activated Escanta and just see if we find another Nexus. Because then if I activate Escanta, find another Nexus or a Temporal Sundering, then we don't ultimate. So I kind of messed up the order there. And how we found the Nexus with the Escanta activation. I could have just ticked up to Fairy again, cast the Nexus, um, and waited another turn before I ultimated. Taking another one. I don't like having only one black source as far as uh, Kaya's Wrath is concerned. Alright, playing against Gates. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Guild Summit. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. <laughs> but. We don't really have a good hand to face anything with, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, we're, we don't have a good hand against Gates. But, but yeah, we don't have a good hand against anything, really. This tech gimmick is worth it. <laughs> Let's go, Mosquito Army. <laughs> yeah, so temporal sundering can. Can kind of get the party started. I think I want to play Dovin Architect of Law first. I'm certainly worried about mass manipulation. That's the card I'm I have most worried about. Well, let's see. If I if I temporal sundering and bounce the Crisis, I get to tick up Dovin to three, and then hit them for two more for five. And then if, if we draw another extra turn spell, we can ultimate Dovin. Other option is just playing this Dovin and tapping the Krasis. Like this Dovin, why do I even need to tap the Krasis? I can just tick up. Elegance in simplicity. All right, Dovin Tribal. So as long as it's not mass manipulation here, I like where we're at. Oh no! Well, this is also a problem. If they just go Nexus of Fate, that's a problem. But I think that before we take the extra turn, having this Dovin in play is um, definitely beneficial. Good job, you went 5-0 with Singleton and got the Galta. Way to go, Jelly. Way to go. Planeswalkers just have to have a different name. So even though they're both Dovins, like they have they have different names. So they're different legendary planeswalkers. Hopefully we get to take another turn. Who knows, maybe we don't.
We'll see. Okay. We're good. So let's go ahead and draw another card. Tick up. Dove in. I constantly seek to innovate. Temporal Sundering. Target us. Bounce the Krasis. Dovin's at six. One, one away from ultimating. Ugh. We didn't find next turn card. Um... This is no mere trinket. Man, if they have mass manipulation, if they have mass manipulation, they win. Trust, hurry. Okay, thought eraser is nice. Wow, all lands in the crisis. Um. Escanta is not an extra turn card, but it is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'll keep it, because we, we can most likely ultimate this Dovin. That's a whole lot of cards they get to draw. So they went... We knew their hand, now they have six new cards. <laughs> that could certainly be some Nexus of Fates. We just gotta hope we can take... If we just take one more turn, the game's over. We just gotta have... Gosh, that's just so many cards. If we, if we get to take a turn, we win. We have to have them brick on Nexuses. But... It's pretty unlikely they just break down Nexuses, right? Man, what a turn. Maybe I should have talked to one of the guild summits. No, actually I'm glad I didn't talk it. Okay, I'm not taking another turn. Man, we were so close. Okay. Definitely want Urza's Ruinous Blast to exile uh, the Wilderness Reclamations and and everything, like all the enchantments. Um, I mean, it would be like Hydroid Krasis would be like the thing that would make them draw too many. But, I mean, our opponent's going to have like one explosion or something that kills us. So this is 67. So we take out... Cast down Kaya's Wrath. I mean, I could certainly see my opponent playing some Rams. But I got the Urza's Ruinous Blast. What are you going to do? I guess not a whole lot. Play two cast down. Could play two Thief of Sanity. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll play a couple Thief of Sanities. I guess Thief of Sanity is not the best with Blast. I'm just going to play cast down. You cannot play Nexus in best of one, but you can still play it in best of three. We 
We want to counter Guild Summit. Um, Guild Summit and Wilderness Reclamation. I'm going to go ahead and Thought Erasure here. So they have Wilderness Reclamation. Double Guild Summit. A Frilled Mystic. I guess they're going to... Hmm. It's so like next turn they're not going to do anything. So good good thought raiser here. But then the following turn, they cast Guild Summit. I kind of want to play Karn the following turn. So that means a Guild Summit will resolve. Both the, the Frilled Mystic and the Route are cards I don't love seeing. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough to win through this. This is an awesome hand for them. It's gonna be tough to win through this. I'm gonna take the mystic. Alright, I wanna find I wanna find Urza's Ruinous Blast. Or Teferi. So like I I could hold up Negate here and counter their first guild summit, but they just have another and everything. So I think just having Karn in play. Um, Are you and getting the card advantage here with Karn is going to be worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice life. Ooh, there we go. You may regret that choice. I, I look forward to some another your success. Oh, I'm certainly negating curious, the curious, uh, circuitous route. Yeah, if they're playing circuitous route, I'm certainly negating that. I'm basically negating anything this turn. Like all three of these cards are worthy of negate. I'll negate any of those. But yeah, Circuitous Route is is awesome. Gives them so much mana. Alright, so we get to... We get to Temporal Sundering. I'm inspired by a good assault. I'm just going to keep ticking up and looking for extra turn stuff. An like another choice. temporal sundering. So I'm gonna get to get to bounce the guild summit. I know I'm not flipping as Kanta here, but that's okay. I want the land drop. I constantly seek to innovate. This we have another temporal us. sundering. Take another turn. I ticked up Dovin, right? Yeah. Hey James for Pog Friday. <laughs> thanks what for that. Is now thanks for the donation turned. there. There's no time for a break. Don't even need Mortify when you go over the top. Like this. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. Alright, so they get another turn, but we have negate. Um, so we're looking pretty good. You know, they can play like one spell. Um, and then I'm pretty sure we take the rest of the turns after this with the Dovin ultimate. 
Oh, do they have this plus negate? That's annoying. All right, well, they, they get to untap with six mana. Okay, we may not take all the turns now. We'll see what they have here. That card's good enough. Um, top ten cards. What do we got? Some nexuses. The array is complete. And one nexus. Ah, just one nexus. We'll take a nexus and a gate and a duress. Should I take a land drop? Nah, we don't need a land drop. We good. All right, let's start with duress. Frilled Mystic is like the card that I don't want to see. I mean, well, that's I. I'm perfectly fine with Frilled Mystic getting duress, like the duress getting countered. I don't want Frilled Mystic to counter the Nexus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I still have enough mana to cast this and Nexus. Let's cast this now. All right, and um, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, just take a summit. I suppose. Alright, Nexus. Let's skip to the good part. The bad news is we The choices we make reveal who we are. We did um <laughs> We did shuffle all like those bad cards back into our library. Hmm. We need to move quickly. There we go. A curious choice. <laughs> it won't take an hour. Oh, I still have six six mana. Okay. Uh, don't need to show them Urza's Ruinous Blast. See, I told you it wouldn't take an hour. Um, we did not see our opponent. Let's go in on the Thief of Sanities. We didn't see them bring in, like, the creatures. And they saw me have multiple cast downs. So let's bring in these Thief of Sanities. And I'm going to cut a Dovin. And go with that. They're, they're not taking another turn, Eclaws. Doesn't really matter if I give them back the Frilled Mystic. Me having the active as Kanta and how many cards I had in my library. <laughs> yeah, you just can't fit Oath of Safari in, but. Ugh. Oh man, losing lots of subs. We're down to needing 109 now. Game three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Really good draw. The the untapped black man. I love it. Uh, so I'll take expansion. So they can't just copy um, a discard effect or anything like that. And go ahead and thought erasure. Take wilderness. Thanks to the simplicity. Go, go, Thief of Sanity. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping Thief wins us the game. Opponent saying good game, so kind of seems like it. I'm going to just hold the gate up over playing other Thief of Sanity here. Ugh. 
wanted to hit a land. So I wanted to play other thief with negate. Who's the Nexus deck now? I guess we are. Alright, well now we'll be able to play Thief with Negate pretty easily. Alright, so end step. Um, in response to the trigger, add some mana, resolve the trigger, cast Nexus, shuffle that back into the opponent's library so we can go grab it some more. Thanks, opponent. Um, let's get Karn going. Karn can probably hit... Help us find lands. There we go. We need more lands. Yeah, now we have 12 extra turn cards. <laughs> we not only have our our eight extra turn cards, but we have our opponent's four extra turn cards. Also, so we're just playing. We are really going extra turn heavy. All right, four and one. Only loss was to Mono Blue, which, you know, that's certainly can be a tough matchup. Beating everything else. Yeah, our de our deck doesn't really win by inches very much. Whenever we win, we win by a mile. But I guess we we we're like about to lose and then win by a mile. It's usually what happens, I guess. This deck's pretty fun to play, though. I'm liking it. Because, you know, you get to you get to take all the game actions. So if you like... If you like taking game actions... Final boss? It's the final boss! I just realized... We didn't get to any final bosses yesterday. And our, our emotes are getting worked on. We're going to have final boss emote here pretty soon now. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, we have Sultai. Cool, we get to play Sultai for the final boss. Uh, this will be a good matchup to face. So I'm going to... So Branchwalker and Jade Light, I'm taking one of those two. Um, it's just which one do I want to take between Branchwalker or Jade Light. Um... Jade Light, of course, explores twice, but it takes like their their third tur turn instead of their second turn. Definitely Jade Light. I guess, yeah, a lot. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I'll take that card. It's a lot better chance that Branch Walker is going to be a, like the Jade Light's going to be more powerful of like hitting these these things for more. No, our opponent had two green. They had they had one green on the battlefield, one forest in their hand. So yeah, they get, they, have, they have two green, so casting Jade Light won't be a problem. Unfortunately, I did kind of want them just to get a land and make this a 2-1. That's what I was hoping. Yeah, that's what I was definitely hoping with this dove in here. Oh, let's add this battle to your record of bad decisions. So, I think, I kind of regret keeping the dove in, honestly. Kind of regret that. So I can minus two Karn and make a... Make a, a construct that checks the branch walker. Or I can tick up. And start looking for extra turn stuff. Just minus two. Allow me. 
introduce you to a friend of mine. Yeah, now I'm expecting to take up Karn for, like, the rest of the game. Or, you know, like, for the rest of the, the real game. Oh, I, the, the creatures don't deal with Vivian and Vraska at all. The, these have zero effect against Vivian and Vraska. We are not going to... We will not be winning this game by having creatures deal with Vivian and Vraska. That was that was definitely a bad part about going at minus two. I'll make use of that later. So you know, I'm gonna be minusing one Dovin again, but then they can they can use their Vivian to shoot down um the creature if they want if not i'll be chump blocking what is going on here arena no i'm getting banned for playing nexus of fate no The final boss is special ability. <laughs> do I need to restart the client? For those of you that, that this happened to, do I should should I restart? Okay, never mind. Here we go. Okay, we're back. Hopefully I, I can trust anyone would be so foolish as to face me. Hopefully. Okay. We didn't get Um I'm known for my hurry. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. We didn't get time walked, so that's good. No, no singleton event today. Um, I played that yet. You know how I played that yesterday. Um, you know, got the duresses, so happy with that. So back to uh, standard now. So we also know they have a Vraska in hand. No one how this thing goes is And I am hoping to draw Nexus of Fate right about now. Hmm. Are you certain of your decision? Are you? Are you certain of your decision, opponent? They gave us Kaya's Wrath. Uh, start by Thought Erasure. So I think I could take take Vraska. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, dang, I wish I would have just ticked up to Fairy and drawn that. Uh, kind of feeling like. I kind of feel like tucking the Vivian and then just casting Kaya's Wrath. No, we don't need to tuck the Vivian. Let's just let's just draw a card. You know what? I'm not done yet. And still cast Kaya's Wrath here. Yeah. Come to me. Because we could get to just bounce Vivian next turn with the Temporal Sundering, or we can bounce the. Um, we can bounce the Traces, either one. Let's 
skip to the good part. The choices we make There's a Nexus. Alright, so I'm bouncing Vivian. Plus having the cast down. Go grab the Nexus. The time has come. Cast that. Redraw. Hold that thought. The opponent picks it up. Didn't want to deal with the Teferi ult. I think that game was over though. Especially we're gonna be able to Teferi tick up again, put it to nine before an ultimate even. All right, so we're gonna have blast. Oh no, Dovin kind of did its thing. Hmm, what do I want to do? Maybe I'm not supposed to play Grand Arbiter and Kaya. If I if I'm taking Kaya out in this matchup, I probably shouldn't have Kaya in my deck. Though. I feel like they're going to be playing a bunch of negates. And I probably need to be ready for that. Oh, this deck certainly has some play to it. Yeah, I think this deck's pretty good. The deck wins with Karn making constructs and killing them eventually. pretty bad for me with the opponent getting out to a fast start. They have a if they have a jade light here, it's really bad for me. Wow, our sub numbers are just going real far down. 110 now. Why do I not have Cry of the Carnarium in the deck? Okay, so they have they have negate here. So we have two Ascantas. Let's get an Ascanta negated. So good news is they only have four cards left. Um even though they already have like five mana. So we just kind of hope they don't have a very good hand. They have another negate? It's really annoying. Removal, where are you at? I brought in more removal. We need to kill this Thief of Sanity. Stat. Right, 
That's I not enough power to kill a Karn. Thankfully. So Pono was worried about Akaya's Wrath. And so they didn't cast Thief. I do not feel pain. You don't feel pain, Karn? You sure about that? Wow. Where's his Ruinous Blast? Why are you so good? You may regret that choice. Do you think they have a counterspell? Eh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah. Exile all that stuff. And now the game's over. Yeah, the opponent was scared of the Wrath, and so they didn't extend into Thief. But the thing is, is like, even if I have a Wrath there, always another fight. their Thief isn't gonna isn't gonna be good enough to to win necessarily. So I think they should just I think they should just cast the Thief. Okay, we're gonna beat the final boss, probably. Um. How convenient! An excellent choice. Wow, they gave me Nexus. That's lucky. Are you certain of your decision? Cat stream. Good choice. All right, let's start taking all the turns. Bye, Hawkeye. So we're going through a lot of cards each turn. Um, All right, Karn, what do you have exiled? We have way too many cards exiled. Like negate, thought erasure. No extra turn things. I'll make yeah. use of that laser. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. One away from playing Teferi and Temporal Sundering. Just crazy. It's like we just untapped with on turn six. You know, we just went from turn six to having like the rest of the turns of the game. Right on schedule. I guess I have enough mana. I don't need to actually do the untap stuff first, so we can get that over there. Keep up the pace first. Take one of these. Well chosen. So this is what I like that we can do against Sultai. We just go way over the top of them compared to like regular Esper control. Um, no that's kind of why I threw this deck together because I, you know, finding decks that beat Sultai is kind of hard, and I, and I think that this could be. 
this could be an option. Yeah, our opponent's certainly not taking another turn. All right, start making these things. Some solutions must be built. Hurry! And start ending the game. There's only 15 cards in library. They're just not. There's just not enough cards for our opponent to, to miss. Or for, for us to miss. And there we go. Well, it wasn't going to be a slow beatdown. It, it speeds up quite a bit. Because the, the next turn, they're both 2-2s. Two and then the next turn, they're 3-3s. Three the next turn, they're 4-4s. Four you know, like, our opponent's only at 18. Like, they're going to be dead in a few turns. Yeah. All right, 5-1 with Esper taking turns. Super friends taking turns. Woo, 56 and 1. There we go. All right, got our 2100 gold and 40 gems. Um So yeah, this this deck actually you know, it it does feel like a pretty good deck. Um I played two games, two matches uh before the stream also because I put this put this together earlier today and I played a, two matches before the stream to to kind of see how it felt and I changed up you know I had a different sideboard at first actually and changed it up to this and I won both of those in control mirrors they were both control mirrors and won those by you know just kind of untapping the planeswalker and starting to take extra turns and everything um, so. Yeah, okay, yeah, you wouldn't expect a three wins at first, but yeah, no, it it just goes so, so much over the top. Um, hey, good job, Skyrim's winning that second singleton. So yeah, if you want to, if you don't like the mid-range decks, you want to just take all the turns and everything, you know, try out some Esper taking turns. Is Kaya really necessary? Probably not. It wasn't too bad, but maybe just having another removal spell there. Um, yeah, I wanted to try it. And it wasn't so bad. It did some things. Uh, exiling, like, some Chemister's Insights and stuff like that. It was kind of cool. Um, so, there you go. All right, if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for all the other videos. We got a lot of, uh, a lot of fun decks today um, that we're going to be playing. So we should have some other good ones up next as you see over here. Hey, Sean with the sub for the fifth month in a row. Thank you so much, Sean. Get some hype in the channel. Sub number six on the day. So there we go. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.